from ice breaker and ice breaker is common for all the pathways it's one speech where you have to inform the audience about yourself get comfortable with them and make them comfortable with you that's pretty much the description of the project so i give the floor now to host master abhas shapiro Those masters and guests, my name is Abhishek Bhai Parvi. Let's start with a brief history of Parvi family. We are talking about early 1980s. There is a huge combined family living in a mansion, similar to those mansions. If someone has watched the movie Dev Das, Shahrukh Khan. Yeah, you have watched the movie. So we are talking about this size mansion in a very large size about this family. The size of the house was so big that once my daughter mentioned that a thief tried to get into the house and was not able to escape just because he was not able to find the exact door to exit the house. Then we come in late 1980s. There is distribution of assets and everyone gets shifted to a decent sized houses and apartments. Then comes 22nd November 1989, the day the first child in the family is born. Mother side wanted to name Ali. Father side wanted to name a boss, so to keep everyone happy. But okay, it's decided that name should be a boss. But to keep everyone happy on the birth certificate and on the first birth, the name written is a boss Ali. Okay, so after completing my O levels and A levels, I shifted to London. I traveled to London to for my higher education. During my stay in London, I traveled to UK, uh, all over the UK. And they also have started teaching their part time, teaching students initially to over A levels and then later to bachelor and master as well. Depending upon the courses which I have done, I can you know teach them again. I would love teaching them and uh, enjoy the collaboration of students and teachers. Most importantly, I was getting paid very well, and secondly, I would love this feeling of uplifting someone. Uplifting not only in terms of getting good grades or uh, getting better GPA, but uplifting in terms of developing the character, enhancing their skills, and uh, achieving, helping them achieve their goals and their uh, potential. <coughs> I would always try and come up with uh, crazy psychological games and techniques and ideas to motivate my students and achieve their potential. After these lovely experiences, I traveled back to Karachi. To person with a real estate family business, but in my mother's mind, I had to travel to Karachi. Guess why? Why do mothers want their children to come back to their home? Get to get married? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I had to travel in my mother's life to get married, and uh, after getting married, uh, it's been almost uh, last year I got married. Uh, but after five years of traveling back to uh, Karachi, I enjoy traveling. New places, new cultures, exploring new areas and cultures. Uh, one of my favorite destinations are the Eastern Asia islands and the beaches. We are talking about Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. The good part of traveling to these places is, you know, the feeling of wearing two putty chappal shorts, loose shirts, walking on the beach, carefree. And also, when you're traveling, you get to meet so different people of different culture, different communities, and most importantly, they're not wearing any masks. Accustomed by the society or community, they're behaving genuine. And the best part is, everyone is there to have a good time and you know create good memories instead of piling up work and carrying excess emotional baggage or anything like that. They're there to spend good memories. You wake up every day. To collect a good picture, to meet a new, uh, to have good food, and to meet new people, explore new areas. Uh, apart from traveling, I try. I also do social work. I represent Roti Club of Karachi, and uh, we have a project called Helping Baby Breathe, and which aim of the project is not uh, is to reduce the child mortality in Pakistan because the number of deaths in, of children uh, during. Pregnancy after pregnancy is really high in Pakistan. Timely, I try to engage in activities to enhance my skills as well. These days, I've started horse riding and archery, tirandazi, and I've joined Toastmasters. 
I continue to learn from each and every moment of my life and every step and every positive. I try to absorb all the positive and uh, positivity and also the influential uh, stories of people which can help me become a better person. Thank you. Those questions.